Hello again! A new day, a new project and a fresh coffee, of course. Well, I have a solar panel like this, it's 72 cells and it kicks more than 40 volts uh, DC. It's a very strong panel and I want to split it in two because now I'm only charging 12 volt batteries and I have a couple of 12 volts panels and I want to put them together somehow, to use them together. So that's the classic schematic for this kind of uh, 72 cells panels. So you see there are three diodes over there, the bypass diodes. And to have these two panels of 36 cells, you know, to split it in two, I have to get rid of those diodes up there and to cut exactly in the middle. Then it turns in two rows of 36 cells and I'm gonna have two panels of 12 volts, let's say, in a single one. In the new schematic you can see we still have diodes over there, we have one diode for each panel, they are short key diodes, you know, and these are only for protection, it doesn't allow the reverse current through the panel, eventually good cables, MC4 connectors, and the plastic box and that allows me to change the configuration in series or parallel so I can use the, the panel in both ways. You see I have this uh, solar panel, it's 72 cells, it's a uh, Saronic, 350 watts, 9.02 amps and voltage at maximum uh, uh, 46.2 in open circuit of course. At peak it's like 38.8 and the uh, maximum short uh, circuit uh, amps it's 9.5 amps. And I have this 12 volts panels in parallel and what I want to do is to make a modification here is to make this panel running like uh, two pieces of 12 volts, two pieces of 36 cells. So, what I want to do is to go down here and to cut it from here and then I'm going to have two connections and two separate rows, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's divide the panel in two 36 cells each and I'm going to have this way uh, the plus there, minus down there, and the other side. Of course I have to take off all the diodes and all the connections. Uh, first, I have to take out all that silicon-based uh, glue or something, because I want to get rid of the diodes. You see already there are diodes, and to see how the connections are here. I can't use it like that, because this is at 72 cells in series so the middle the middle of the connection it's down there I can't do anything over here so I have to take this first time you may see we are already done with this um, cleaning up and uh, we have three diodes here these are the bypass diodes I'm gonna take these diodes out one two three and then I have that's the minus connection here I'll keep that I'm gonna use this three diodes but only two in fact to have a protection for the panel for the backward voltage so they are not totally unusable. Now you may see I'm desoldering the diodes uh, with my TS100. It's pretty tough and it's pretty okay for this kind of jobs. And uh, later I'm gonna start scratching the plastic uh, to get uh, near that metal piece down there, that metal connection down of uh, the panel. And the plastic is uh, pretty okay there, so careful not to break the glass in the front. It's plenty of space to work about, but I need a little bit of help, so I put my Dremel on. I can go faster like that, and job is done. Let's check it. 
ohmmeter no short that's good yes we are in business so it's done everything gets soldered there in place it's a lot of sunshine so it's kind of crazy and uh, afterwards I'm coming with some hot glue and cover everything nice there and this is very good cable this is a 12 uh, 12 AVG from Turnigy so this panel is flying like 9 amps in full sunshine this is more than enough for that okay so that's the other side of the panel there is the gap I did in, uh, in between the, the solar sectors I may say so we have a panel here one two three and down and the other three over here and uh, what I want to do now is you can see that there is no harm to the to the glass it's well down beneath the, the glass surface so now I have to seal everything up and uh, do the final connection and have the diodes on so let me seal everything here <laughs> with some uh, hot glue and that will make everything nice and smooth again okay so the first cell it's uh, connected I have the diode here and this is plus and this is minus here eventually it will be connected in parallel with the first cell and everything goes down to the main connectors that's the kind of connector I'm going to use for a plus and minus, you see, this kind of connector. I always prefer to put a little bit of soldier here. This, this will be plus. I'm always having my colors. Red is plus and blue is minus from the panel, of course. So, it's done. Everything is connected properly. I have the the outs are right here. I'm gonna turn the panel to the right position. I we'll start having the tests. Well, I may say it's not still in the proper position on the angle. It's pretty stiff, stiff, you see. But anyway, that doesn't really matter because what I want to do is to make some testings. So here we have the connector. Let me check the polarity first time. It should be plus. That should be minus. 200 volts. And we have 22 volts. Okay. I'm in the shadow. 20. That's it. 22. And now a very short test. I'm gonna I'm gonna have it in short for a very very short time this uh, ampere meter of mine ammeter can uh, survive to 20 amps but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that okay 6.15 it's okay for the angle and for the hour of the day and let's put it to work so these are the main connections to to the battery charger. There we go. I got the clamp meter here. Okay. Let's go to minus. Let's see what we got here. 5.3. Well, it's going up and down because the battery is pretty charged. But they don't doesn't really matter 5.4 well I want to see now if the both panels are working equally so we got like 
2.6 one panel and the other one one oh two point going from 1.5 to 3 amps but like I said the battery is pretty charged but I'm really really satisfied with this uh, modification down there and like I said you don't even know this can't even see so that's it for today uh, I hope you enjoyed be well be safe and see you soon